Hi, Scorpio. It's me. It's Julia with Scorpio Squad. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing great. And I hope that I bring you some happiness every day, Scorpio. It's so important for me to do that for you. Um, I love you so much. I really do. And um, I appreciate everything that you guys do for me. I really do. And your love and your support here on the channel. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed. For those of you that are new, this is a Strictly Scorpio channel. Everybody in the house is Scorpio. And um, if you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe. And hit your notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And for all my Scorpios out there, please make sure to hit the like so other Scorpios know about our channel so we can grow and they can get their messages, right? If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can only do it through my website and pay for it there. So if anybody tries to uh, tell you something differently, then that means you're being scammed. So be careful. And if you want a live tarot card reading, you can get one. Um, there are toll-free numbers uh, for the USA, for Canada, India, and the UK and parts of Ireland. They are my hand-picked tarot card readers. They're very good. Um, make sure to use my name, Julia, to get your first reading discounted. And Scorpio, when it is your birthday month, uh, make sure to give your birth date or your zodiac sign to get $10 off for your birthday reading. Okay, Scorpio. And of course, for our official Scorpio Squad merch, our t-shirts, our tank tops, our mugs, the things I say here on the channel, you can find those at the Teespring store. Okay. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you in love for today. For my beautiful Scorpios, for my beautiful Scorpios, what is going on with Scorpio? I feel, Scorpio, you are waiting. You've been waiting. You've been waiting for somebody to come offer you this cup, right? This proposal of marriage. That's what your focus is here. Or you're thinking about offering it to someone, right? No gender specific, right? Because I know I've got um, males and females watching me. In the now, we've got the Three of Pentacles. What's hidden from you is the Seven of Cups. In the recent past, we have the High Priestess. In the near future, we have the Five of Wands. For you, we've got the Knight of Cups. For your person, the Nine of Cups. In your hopes and fears, the Ten of Cups. So we're seeing a progression there. And in the outcome, please, for Scorpio, what do we have? The Five of Pentacles. Don't worry. That can all change. That could be your how you're feeling right now and how they're feeling. So let's see. All right. So let's clarify the High Priestess. The High Priestess is clarified by the Eight of Cups. And the death card. So I feel, Scorpio, you walked away from a situation uh, that you felt just was finished, that it wasn't going anywhere. You felt somebody was very sneaky here, very in and out of your life, Scorpio. And the towers here. I feel you found out that this person was playing with your emotions or that they were a player and. You just let it crumble. And there was a lot of regret there, a lot of disappointment, a lot of heartache there for you. We see in the now we have the Three of Pentacles for you, Scorpio. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? I feel like you're not talking to this person right now. We have the Three of Cups, two threes. God's numbers. For Scorpio, why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Wow. All right, the Ten of Pentacles. I feel that the person that you were waiting on, that you feel really heartbroken by, um, that you feel betrayed by, I feel they now want to come in. I feel like they now want to come in. They want to commit to you. They want a reunion with you. They see you as their Ten of Pentacles, Scorpio. 
For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio. You see? This person now wants a victory with you. They want to communicate with you. And I feel, Scorpio, you still love this person. I feel you still would like to work on things with them. Now, this reading is not going to be for everybody, but I feel it's for a big group of you. Um, it's all about divine timing here. Going with the flow, Scorpio. I feel you just want to go with the flow. I don't feel like you want to rush into anything here. Okay? This person would like to see you give more to the connection, and you would love to, but it's making it hard for you because, you know, you, you were hurt really bad. All right, here we go. The Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here for Scorpio? It's hidden from you. Well, somebody here does have options. We also see strengths here for you, Scorpio. We do see that somebody realizes that you're the one. Here. They do. And they have to find the strength to actually fight for this connection and to manifest it and to have this reconciliation with you. This person's coming towards you quite passionately. Um, I feel here that you're very independent. You're abundant in your own right. You can totally take care of yourself. This person sees that about you. Um, but we also see like your energy is a little standoffish. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, please. Yeah, and that's you're standing off because you feel betrayed. This person knows they hurt you. They know they betrayed you. But they want a passionate brand new beginning with you, Scorpio. That's what's hidden from you. In the near future, we have the Five of Wands. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit, okay? Because I feel like I'm speaking to two different groups of you. Why is the Five of Wands here? I mean, this is for one of my groups. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here for Scorpio? Okay. So I feel that there's a change about to happen here, Scorpio. You are starting to feel happy again. And it could be with this Virgo here that you see a brand new beginning with. Or they see a brand new beginning with you, Scorpio. Tell me about the Five of Wands, please. Well, Scorpio, somebody feels like you're their destiny and they want a victory with you. Could be an Aquarius. Somebody sees you as their wish fulfillment. Or roles can be reversed. I've got all signs here, Scorpio. Let's clarify the last four and see what's going on here. I feel somebody wants to come back and make things right. I feel though you are going to try to make things right. You will try your very best. You will. The Knight of Cups is here because you really do want this. And who is it? It's your soulmate. It's somebody from your past. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's your Empress or your Emperor. You could have had a past life with this person. I feel something is about to come full circle again. It's a brand new chapter for the two of you. Wow, Scorpio. It's a brand new chapter for the two of you. I feel there could also could be travel involved. 
It, there is a passionate brand new beginning, okay? We do see offer being given, I mean like offered. We do see somebody offering marriage commitment here. This person's serious, this emperor or empress. Again, we've got the sun and we've got the star and we've got the lovers. There's a decision you need to make here, Scorpio. All right, let's see why is the nine of cups here for your person, wish fulfillment. Why is wish fulfillment here? Why is wish fulfillment here? The sun and the star. This is a divine connection. When you see the sun and the star together, that means a divine connection. But it also means ultimate happiness and wish fulfillment here. For Scorpio's person, clarify the Nine of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Scorpio's person. Yeah, this is going to bring a lot of healing. A lot of healing. And a lot of sweet emotion. We also have the Three of Cups, the Ten, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. I thought the cards stuck together. The Knight of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Okay, so let's backtrack. So we said ultimate happiness, right? Wish fulfillment that brings a lot of healing, a lot of sweet messages going back and forth. We definitely see a reconciliation. We see building together, living under the same roof together, growing old together, abundance, stability. We see this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn coming at you quite quickly, Scorpio. Here you are, right next to them, pushing forward. We see this opportunity being made or this offer being made, okay? We see this king, and I feel like I'm dealing with an emperor here as well, but we see this king being very, very passionate about this person. Ace of Wands came out as well. So we do see a brand new beginning here. This is what your person wants. And I feel they're going to do everything possible um, to show you that they love you, Scorpio. To get you out of this... Um, how can I explain it? Um, because they see you trying to give it all, but they also see you holding back. And this person is going to try to really convince you that this is real. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups for Scorpio, please. The Ten of Cups for Scorpio. Why is it here? The Six of Wands. Here we go again. The Six of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. So... This is your wish fulfillment. You want a victory. But somebody is really too much up in their head. But there is love here. The Ten of Cups, please. Why is it here? Yeah, you see, your person wants to work on things. They really do. They really do. They're not choking around. Virgo energy. Now, you could have Earth in your chart as well, Scorpio. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. But this person wants to take things slow. Okay? Slow and steady wins the race, right? So in the outcome, we have the Five of Pentacles. Why is it here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for, for Scorpio? The Hierophant. The Nine of Cups. And the Lovers. You see how the card changed. Because if I would have just read it the way it was, then that would be that the two of you are left out in the cold, or you were left out in the cold, or they were left out in the cold. But no, both of you feel left out in the cold. You both feel this spiritual connection between the two of you. It's not a joke. You both see each other as wish fulfillment. You love each other. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Here we go. We see somebody... Wanting to leave the troubles behind and 
come in with that communication here, with that message. Here's your emperor. Wow. Card down, Scorpio. It never fails. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Okay, here we go, Scorpio. There you are, Scorpio. There you are. So there is a rebirth going on between you and your person. For some of you, I feel that you have um, either a father or a grandfather who may have passed away that's watching over you, Scorpio. Uh, it's like I see them on the left, you in the middle, and your person that you're supposed to be with on the right. So it feels like a family member who has passed is influencing this now. I feel someone will, someone's been waiting here. Okay. I feel like they're prepared to leave everything in the past, but I also feel here that um, Scorpio, maybe you, maybe them, um, someone's keeping a close eye out here. Okay? Somebody here wasn't fair in the past, Scorpio, but I see the, the Four of Wands being here. It's divine timing. Again, we see the Four of Cups. In the beginning of this, we got the Emperor here. Now we have the Empress and the Three of Cups, which is reconciliation. All right. So, look, I see your person really wanting to make this right. I see them coming in. I see them doing everything possible to convince you, Scorpio. You want it too. You're just having a little bit of a hard time. Okay? Okay. You're just feeling like you just can't give 100% of yourself yet. Um, because you've been really hurt by this person. But I feel you're really, really going to try. And the two of you are going to try to work it out. Maybe some of you will actually even go to um, uh, get some help, you know, to work out your problems. All right, Scorpio, that's what I've got for you. Sending you much love and many blessings. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I will see you again tomorrow. Love and kisses, Scorpio. Bye now.